everybody. Thank you for joining the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, June 1st. Um, I can't believe June is here. Um, so on the agenda, I have a quick four items that I wanted to share. I uh, wanted to go over the, the May newsletter, GSOC update, DevOps world tour dates, and um, CDF outreach committee meeting that they are scheduling for June 21st. And um, they're looking for our input. And I'm sharing, uh, being trying to be transparent and share what I have here with, um, with, with you all. So is there anything else that I should add to the agenda? Looks good. I'm, sh I'm seeing um, shakes. I, I do have a question though. Should we include like um uh are the plans for the upcoming LTS or weekly release Twitter uh announcement? Because we uh do have plans for it for to to like to be done consistently from now on. Um so you okay, so I wanna make sure I understand. So it's the LTS tweets you're referring to. Yeah, currently we only have LTS, but um, will it be permanent or is it uh, is it for every release or is it just for like the major ones, the point one release? Oh, I think that would be a mark question. Yeah, I, I don't. So. Yeah, I don't have an answer to that, Chris. Okay, because like you know, normally, like I don't do the point one release. I help out with the other ones, but um, mm -hmm. so uh, normally Alice does like all the point one release these days. And I do the, the rest sometimes. Sometimes he volunteers to do like some of the like non point one uh, releases too. But um, when it's my turn, I don't normally like request for a trade for the releases. So should we make it like a pattern from now on, like for every mm -hmm. LTS release, we should make a trade announcement. That makes sense. Yeah. My my um... point of view is the. The question makes 100% sense and yeah. it would avoid wasting time to reinvent the wheel uh, each time. Now, the answer as for, for Elisa to what would be the correct method yeah. uh, uh, for that, uh, this I, I don't know. So we should ask uh, I... Alex and, and Mark what there, but describing the process communication part uh, would be very wise. I think it, Chris, I think my, so my gut feelings telling me that might be worth a discussion on the, um, the Gitter channel so that you get other folks putting their feedback too. Cause I don't think the right folks are in this channel at the moment. Okay. I'll, I'll try to talk to them tonight because I, I know they have a doctor's meeting tonight. Yeah. Yeah, and then if there's additional action items that that needs to be taken from that, and then I mean we can we can come back here if needed. Um, but it we I think we need a broader input from others. Okay. Yeah. But the, I think that's an excellent point you brought up, though. Okay. Um, okay, so. Uh, the Jenkins newsletter for May, it's currently in motion. So I spent a lot of time on that yesterday, Bruno. <laughs> uh, so we got most of it, I think, well, where is it? It's somewhere. Yeah, we've got, I think we got our input, a couple, we just need a couple more input. Um, so it's mainly Mark. And I don't think we're going to get documentation from uh, Kevin. Kevin, yeah. um, yeah, but maybe Mark might have something that he can put in here. But um, I will chase with Mark to get this uh, together in, or his input in, and then hopefully we can push it out next week. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, GSOC update. Uh, John Mark, I, if it's okay, I can leave it up to you for this update. Yeah, no problem. So we ended uh, 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 one week ago, we ended the bonding period. Uh, it went very well, quite active. 
some late starts because of exams that needed to be done, but all the objectives are achieved. And since a week, uh, all the, the project teams are working and start moving, facing the first problems and solving them. So it moves, uh, moves ahead very well. Uh, the four, as part of the deliverables of the bonding period, there was a blog post, a presentation blog post uh, that was done and published, went well uh, too, and we have the weekly uh, office hour uh, going on and uh, uh, where uh, status is exchanged, but also through the status, we pick up uh, useful uh, experiences that are then shared with the rest of the team. So currently, all lights green, everything's going well, and the fun factor is high. Hmm. My update. Thank you. Uh, don't write that fun factor. That's <laughs> good stuff. It's good. <laughs> oh, but. <laughs> well, I saw uh, uh, good smiles on people's face, so yeah, good sign. Yeah, I know. I think it's a good point to include. Yeah. Um, and I, oh. I think can I add something? Yeah, because I I just want to add like the contributors this year is super active during the office hours, so it's a good sign. Yeah, they're all present and make yeah. an effort to be present. Good point. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, DevOps World Tour 2023. So now we can officially say that there are dates and locations. Um, so I put on the, the link here. Um, they've announced locations for Chicago, Silicon Valley, and London. There's two more that is to be announced. Um, so more to come. So if you're interested, um, check it out. Uh, we do have one session for Jenkins at each location. They are pulling together the agenda. They're still reaching out to speakers. So the agenda is not yet up. But um, Mark is, is slated to speak uh, at least in the U.S. And then Tim Jacome is going to be speaking in London. Um, so that's a really good sign. And then, as I mentioned earlier, CDF Outreach Committee is having their monthly meeting, and this next one is in on June 21st. Um, each project members are supposed to provide their project updates, and what I have listed here is what I will be including for, um, for the Jenkins project, and thanks to John Mark for adding your input here. But um, I will list out our number of LinkedIn members, Twitter mem followers, or contributor numbers, or installs, or plugins, because those are quite, they're quite impressive numbers to share. Um, and then the things that we want to highlight with other members, uh, project members, and the CDF community is that uh, we are, there's work within the project that is uh, towards rejuvenating the uh, mature code base, modernizing UI UX, and our impressive seventh year in GSOC. And then lastly, our newsletter. And I think that I wanted to highlight the newsletters because just so that people can, in case they wanna know what's happening within the project on a monthly basis, they can just go through here. That's it. Any questions? For I me? hope Any? the words, the choice of word of mature is, is not like to hurt anybody. But here, it, it, the word is correct. It's yeah. because of the experience. Mm. But experience has also the weight of the years and the, the joints or, or the, 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 uh, the muscles maybe lack the power of a younger code base so mature is for me the good word i like I it i will not i will not hurt anybody with it. no i think i think it's a good word to use 
um, better than old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So I, no, I, I, I like the word. Good. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your evening. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.